the Christmas story continues. Genesis chapter 3 verse 15. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. Amen. Beloved, her seed, as we just read from the Bible verse, a woman does not have seed. The seed comes from the man. God promised the virgin birth or God prophesied the virgin birth by the Bible verse we just heard from the virgin Mary would come forth the dragon slayer the serpent destroyer and his name is his name is Jesus the one we are preparing to celebrate Hallelujah. Jesus is our Savior. He came as our Savior. And he had to share his blood to wash away our sins. There was no alternative to save man. When, with, when man first sinned in the Garden of Eden, after God gave this prophecy, Adam and Eve gave birth to Cain and Abel. Knowing the prophecy, Satan tried to figure out who the promised seed was. So he observed Cain and Abel and saw that Abel brought a lamb to God and was favored. When you bring a lamb to God, it means that you know you have sinned. And you looking through, through look, looking uh, looking through the Old Testament. Any time a nation sinned, they brought animal. When the lamb dies and sheds blood, you walk away with the innocence of the lamb on you. That is why God accepted and favored Abel when he brought a lamb. What did Cain bring? Cain brought produce from the ground to God and was rejected. Cain brought produce from the ground, the work of his hands. He was bringing his own efforts. It was as if he was saying, I'm not a sinner. I don't need the blood. I can bring my effort to God and he will accept me. You see the importance of the blood of Jesus? Then in the Old Testament, it was the blood of animals. But now we are blessed to be under the blood of Jesus Christ. God could not accept an offering that did not have blood. Remember, without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. Seeing that Abel was favored, Satan influenced Cain to murder Abel. But Abel was not the promised seed. Again, Satan missed it. Satan lost. Satan is not all-knowing. God is following the one who is all-knowing, all-present, and all-powerful. Is a victory on your side. Still follow Jesus, your good shepherd, brethren. Don't depend on yourself. Your understanding is fruitless God is all-knowing submit to him accept Christ as your personal Savior if you haven't done so even as you continue preparing for the Christmas because Christmas is all about Jesus Christmas is all about heaven's best given us by God because he so loves us and if you trust him all the blessings that Jesus came to give are yours. If you are, if you allow Jesus to lead you, you are 